Hey everybody, so a very quick but very powerful uh, tip on breaking toxic addictions or breaking the pattern of toxic addictions so that you can get out of the cycle. For example, if you're trying to quit something that's really difficult to quit, whether it's an ex or porn or an addic any, any toxic addiction, that you're just finding that, okay, Whatever you do, you try, you try, but then a week later you just relapse, or a couple of weeks later you relapse, or a month later you just wind up coming back to it. First of all, before I go into this powerful, uh, really helpful tip, I just want to say that it's okay if you relapse. That's fine. That's not a bad thing, okay? Remember, the goal isn't to just, cut, well, I mean, if you can cut it out completely forever, that's great, but... You know, that's unlikely. And if you've been watching my videos, you'll know that that's just, I don't really believe that. Like, I think that, you know, more realistically, you phase things out, right? So if you relapse, it's okay. If you are trying to break your addiction to porn, let's say, for example, you're doing that every day, and then you decide, you know what, this is not serving me. This is just bringing pain and misery into my life, uh, taking away my confidence and et cetera, et cetera, whatever. Or the same thing if, you know, you're trying to move past a, a very difficult, let's say, long-term relationship breakup, and you just find that you can't stop dating, you can't stop hooking up, and you can't stop, you just can't bear the loneliness, the emptiness, the, you know, the feeling of not having someone, okay? So you might be able to go a week, two weeks, but then you'll be back on Tinder or Bumble or whatever, and you'll be dating again. Same with the porn or whatever, yeah? Let's say you're able to like quit it for a week or two weeks, but then you wind up uh, going back on a porn site or whatever, yeah? So it's okay if you relapse, but the thing is like you've gone from every day to like, okay, you relapsed once. Well, continue to do what you set out to do. So get, get back, and maybe this time it's going to be two weeks, and then you relapse and do it once again. Then the next time it could be longer, so you're going to phase out. So very important, write it down. It's okay if you relapse. Don't freak out. Don't you know? A lot of people will be like, oh, I'm never going to be able to do this. This is too impossible. It's hopeless. I'll never be able to change and improve. No, that's all nonsense, okay? A really good saying, I, I, you know, we hear in the gym all the time, with fighting is, you know, you fall down six times, but get back up seven times, okay? So don't give up, keep going, because remember, this is all about conditioning. So you conditioned yourself to get, or I shouldn't say you conditioned yourself, but you became conditioned. We become conditioned to be in relationships, to be in bad relationships, in toxic relationships. We get, we condition ourselves for porn or any addictions, how do we condition ourselves to be in those situations? By doing them over and over and over and over. It becomes a habit, right? So breaking those habits also requires you to create a habit of breaking the habits, new habit of not doing those things, all right? So first things first, it's okay if you relapse, just get back to work and continue and it's that's how it's going to phase out it might take you know weeks it might take months okay but you if you continue if you don't give up you know anything can happen that's another really cool thing i heard the other day uh, a fighter was being interviewed by the way i cannot recommend enough watching interviews of fighters okay go watch some of the interviews of ufc fighters and just listen to them speak listen to the way their mindset is these guys you know cannot have and girls you know the the ladies and the guys who are fighters their mindsets are incredible incredibly inspiring so one of the things i heard the other day was if you don't give up anything can happen okay so so many times in a fight people will just be like oh, i'm just going to tap out i'm going to quit but if you don't give up, you never know what could happen. Your opponent could quit before you. Same principle applies to breaking these addictions. So you're probably thinking, oh, okay, oh, well, when's he going to get to the point, right? <laughs> so let's get to the point. So here's the tip. 
when you relapse, if and when you relapse, let's say you're trying to quit porn and okay, a week goes by and you've done amazing, you haven't touched it, you haven't looked at any, but then something happens and you feel that urge and then you wind up, you're back on the porn site. Well, remember the reason why uh, you're trying to quit in the first place is because this is causing you so much misery and suffering. And the chances are that after you relapse again and you, you, uh, you know, give in to the temptation and you do, you know, the, whatever the toxic stimulation, whatever it is, you get your fix, chances are you're going to feel like shit again. And after you're going to be like, fuck, like, this always happens. I promised myself like I was not going to do it. And now I feel like crap again. I feel empty and depressed. That's your moment. When you feel crap and empty and depressed, it's time to write yourself a, a note. It's like your future self writing yourself a note. I don't know. What is it like? Your past self writing your writing a note for your future self, or is it actually your like your future self writing a note to your past state of mind, just to let to remind you of how painful and how bad this is? So when you when you relapse, when you feel like shit, that's a golden opportunity to write down a note. Don't do it. It's not worth it. Write it to yourself. Okay. Write it down somewhere where you're going to be able to see it and access it and just look at it and read your words of, you know, just talk sense into yourself. Okay, so write down, this is going to only create suffering. I feel empty. I feel broken. I feel let down. You know, write down a list. It's similar to the puke list that we write down when we're trying to get over exes or past relationships. It's the same principle here. You're reminding yourself of why this isn't a good thing. Okay, so that's it. I'm going to keep it uh, really short this time. Uh, obviously, there are a lot of other um, ways to and techniques, methods to that will help as well to break these toxic habits and uh, patterns. You know that we can't break out of, and we seem to come back to. There's lots. Just for, for now, I wanted to share this very helpful, very important, uh, very powerful little tip, okay? When you find yourself that you've broken uh, your uh, commitment and you slip and you wind up contacting your ex again or going on the porn again or whatever it is that you're trying to uh, stop and free yourself from. Whatever it is, that's your moment. Let's say you've just broken contact and you feel like crap. Write it down. Write down. I just broke contact. I feel terrible. Uh, it's a horrible feeling. I feel let down. I feel empty. I feel depressed. I feel um, hopeless. I feel, you know, terrible. Okay, and then t write yourself a note. Don't do it. It's not worth it. Okay? Same thing goes with any, any addiction. I just, you know, went, went on a porn site again. It was only good for a few seconds or whatever. <laughs> and uh, now I feel like more shit. And I knew I would, but I, I'm back here again. So write a note to yourself. Don't do it. It's not worth it. It's not worth it. Don't do it. Okay? That's it, everyone. So sending everybody out there all the best. And... Um, Hopefully because this video is shorter, I can upload it a lot quicker. I live in the middle of nowhere, so uploading 40-minute videos sometimes, actually all the time, takes overnight. I have to upload it, and by the time it's morning, it's uh, been uploaded. Okay, so uh, write that down. Use it. Start implementing it. These are tools that help, okay? Writing notes to yourself. It's all part of the the process of journaling, okay? So get a journal. You're going to need it. You're going to be writing a lot of things down. You're going to be employing a lot of tools like this. You're going to have a toolbox at the end of the day. Some of you out there might not resonate with this particular tip and this particular tool. 
others out there might find that this is an incredible thing that's just absolutely going to help you sort out and fix the issue and you're going to finally be free. Some of you are going to find that this is going to help with half of, you know, get, get halfway uh, through the journey. Okay, the point is, at the end of the day, you're going to have a toolbox and you're going to fill into this toolbox as many of these tips and techniques that you're going to find from this channel, other channels, books you read, videos, interviews, like from fighters that, you know, I, I, I'm influenced by. And, okay, and you're going to collect, the you know, these tools and you're going to like start ranking them, which are the most effective.